Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new little mini-series on Neophyte, the action RPG arena survival roguelike we checked out a couple times here. I really enjoy. I just, I want to pop back in and play a couple, at least a couple more episodes, you know, uh, before it's released on the 31st for everybody to check out. But we are going to be popping in with bigger waves because we did get a victory the last time we played this. So we got um, more enemies, I guess, it's a, which is just more difficult. Like there's there's no ex experience that you get, which thank God, honestly, uh, or anything like that that you have to pick up. That being said, though, more enemies is just a it's just a harder game then. Um, this is the only move I have not picked, so I'm not even going to. Look at those there. Create a bubble at the target position. Explodes after a brief delay, dealing 100% of your powers. Arcane damage. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. Apparition summons a spirit familiar to the target position for seven seconds that attacks the nearest enemy within six tiles. Uh, so, all right. They do a little bit of AoE. I mean, it's also arcane, which I'm going to tell you, I'm just going to take that because it's a move I've not seen before. Woo, woo. It's a move I haven't seen before, and they're both arcane. We can go for, like, a little bit of a synergistic build, potentially, with that. Uh, you know, there's upgrades that we're going to be able to get after certain rounds. Boop. Ooh. They're pretty solid. Do they go away? Yeah, they do go away. I figured as much, but what if they didn't? You know what I'm saying? What if they just... We got, like, a thousand. It'd be kind of broken. How good are they? Eh. They're not bad. But this move is... The, the free move is doing, like, a lot more. All right. Power up. Probably. You dash further and your dash cooldown is reduced. Ooh. Just sounds good. Max mana increased by 50. Power is increased by 18. Yeah, these are... Uh, I guess I'll go with power then, I suppose. Cooldown speed. I don't think this really has a cooldown. It's more that it gets inhibited by mana. I'll take more power. Dashing through enemies makes them... Marks them for up to 1.5 seconds when a marked target receives spell damage. The mark is consumed for additional 200% of your power as damage. Hey, I don't mind that one bit. And I'm going to take a little bit of mana regen so we can get more ghosty boys. For sure. Oh, we can summon a whole bunch before the wave starts. There's nothing stopping us from doing that there. Okay, the power the power upgrade is very noticeable. Very noticeable. Whoop. Going glass cannon-ish. Oh my word. You weren't kidding when you said more more enemies in the wave. You were not kidding. It, oh my word. I want to just see what they do when they're when they're alone. They can crit, it looks like, which is neat. Good to know. Spell slot unlocked. Stone skin. I, that's just the thing that gives us a shield for 50% of our max health. I feel like, why not? Deal more damage to enemies within 3.5 tiles. While your mana is above 80%, your power is increased by 15. You have a 20% chance to invade. Evade incoming damage. Invade incoming damage. Whenever you cast an arcane spell, gain 3% melee and range resistance. Oh. That'll just be permanently stacked, then. That's so good. That That's that's pretty huge. A 15% resistance across the board. It, it may not sound like a lot. Like, it should... First of all, it should sound like a lot, but it, maybe it doesn't. Like, uh, but it is. Okay, let's get some uh, more mana regen so we can cast more ghosts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cheat the system a little bit. There we go. Get a couple free ghosts up there. Do they last? They kind of... They get, a, like, a hit off. It's not the best. Is this arcane? I can't even tell. I'd have to look again after. Get out. But it is nice to know we are effectively... Oh, God, that's right. The dash... That's a weird thing. I think the uh, the increased dash radius would have been the way to go with that build. But I guess we could get on our stone skin. 
Ooh, it's actually, it's pretty good, though. The amount of extra damage we do when we blow up that dash mark that we got, it's pretty hefty. Is it worth going for right now? Probably not. Everybody's basically just dying right away, anywho. Who needs potions? Hello. Meet my friend. Double critical damage. Critical chance increased by 2.5 for every 15 mana missing. Increased based off of how far... Up to 12% based off of how far away you are from the enemy. I'm gonna go with the crit chance and the double crit damage just like right off the bat. That just seems really good. Max mana mostly helps us right away. Are you guys gonna be able to do anything? Yeah, they can do a little bit. It's not bad, it's not bad. Shields up. I don't know if it's worth going for right now. Maybe if I was a little bit tankier, we were playing like a melee build. I think that that'd be more worth going for. But that's just not something we're doing right now. Get the health. Ooh. Like when I put on my shield thing, maybe I'll go for it a little bit more. Shields on. Just get out. Whoa. Come on, ghosty boy. I'm trying to figure out how good the ghosts really seem like they are. It seems like they're, you know, they're kind of a single targety type thing. If they lasted longer, maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't say they're bad, though. Because we are doing just fine. But that could be any number of things we have. We'll see. We'll see. Acid fire, a cone of fire that engulfs enemies, increasing or dealing your power damage. 30% more likely to be crit. Ooh. Whenever you collect a healing potion, you deal 470% of its maximum healing potential. Healing potential to enemies within a uh, small radius. You know... I think we can do better. You heal for a good chunk of the mana you spend. That just seems good. That just seems really good. I should check out Sumo. But I, I know that Sumo is a melee build kind of a thing. Uh, and I know we don't have it. But I still... I, sh I should have hovered over it anyways. I apologize for that. Um, that one's a must take. We literally have to. Maximum mana. Maximum mana. I'd rather get critical damage since... Theoretically, we'll be able to... You know, we'll be able to do a little bit of... Uh, quite a bit of... Critting. Those are gonna just go away before we even do anything, huh? Oh god. Oh god. That guy, he's not a very stationary fella. My ghosts are not gonna be as effective. It's not that they're ineffective, though. Yep. Okay, you got the fire on. He should be getting crit like a son of a gun. Yep, he is getting very crit. Dash just through him. Let's do lots of lots of dashing through. Just BM him a little bit. Okay, we took a lot of damage. We deserve that. We deserve it. We deserve it. All right, there we go. Doing pretty much all crits here, hopefully. Shields on, dash through, get a kill. Dash through, go, go, go. Go, 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 go stupid with it. Oh my god. That shouldn't have worked. That should not have worked. But it really did. Literally just put on my shield and dash left and right while spamming ghosts. And it worked. And it worked. And it was good. That's dumb. Whenever an, whenever an enemy dies, you gain 3% life and three and mana regen. Okay, for 3.5 seconds. That sta stacks indefinitely. Okay. Okay. You're going to get your power increases by 36. Crits ignite enemies. De oh... That is tempting. That's really tempting. I'm gonna, I will take that. 
Go for mana regen for sure out of those. Uh, absolutely on that. Crit chance. I have sure. Whatever. We're not at... Okay. I think they spawn here. Whoop, whoop. So we got that. They'll get crit even more. I mean, I guess we do a, uh, a non-zero amount of fire damage now. Worth looking into. Whoop. There was a patch that came out that I believe made it so it's slightly easier to dash over the, um, the this without getting poisoned. I'm not going to say that it's impossible now. Definitely not the case. Oh boy, we needed to get the hell out of there. I don't know how good this um, starting move is. Or, I mean, I don't know. Everything seems all right. But it's just the fact that I got so many uh, power upgrades. Or so much power upgrade from that start. I would feel like we'd be stronger, like noticeably stronger than the last time I played. Whoop. Maybe it's just because there's a lot more enemies. It could just be that feeling. What we got here? Static discharge. Channel your power. Oh, that's like a, it's it's a big charge up and then do a huge AOE move. It's good, but damage from enemies is reduced by 50% after blocking 20 instances of damage. It's disabled for 10 seconds. I am not re-rolling that. No way. Uh, all damage taken is reduced while channeling. Whenever you cast a fire spell, I don't I don't cast very many fire spells. Gain bonus maximum life equal to 25% of your maximum mana. Like I have one fire spell. It doesn't count as Yeah. Getting the crit does not count as casting a fire spell, so I'll just go for this, I guess. It's not the most exciting. Whoop. God, they have these ones over here, too. We have a cone move, so, like, oops, being in the corner is not the worst thing in the world. It's also, it's really short range. Huh. Go, 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 go. Get them, ghosties. We just put them right in a, like, a little bit of a wall right in front of us. Yep. That's good. Oh my god, look at that burn! Yeah, I don't love corner strats. But like, dang if they are not very effective right now. Okay. Get out. They just keep coming! Is, there, is this a boss wave? This is not a boss wave. It is not. Oh my word. They just keep coming. I feel like we might be done now. We should be done. Yep, yeah, we are we are done. Okay, okay, I was gonna say. Man, that poison. It is frustrating. It's a smart idea though. Yeah, it is. It is easier to get over without. Yeah, going diagonal is still pretty tough. Like, I bet you we can now, though. Yep. If you time it right, you can diagonal dash over it, too, without getting poisoned. Uh, I'll take max mana. That gives us health as well. Whenever you spend mana, gain a melee and range resistance up for seven seconds. Ooh. I'll do, I'll do that. I spend a lot of mana. I'm going to get the mana regen per second. The question... Do I need cooldown? It helps these. I'd rather... Yeah. I'd rather have that. Keep that stacked. Now we have another reason why we want to keep things in finish stacking. 
Oh my god. What a whiff. Those guys gotta go. Frog boys gotta go. Frog boys gotta go. Set him up. Set up my safety corner here for now. Just for a second until we can go. Whoop. Yeah, we actually have a really good build for just cheesing in the corner, which, you know, it. if you got a build that needs to do it, you got a build that needs to do it. I'm having a tough time, like, very, very quickly distinguishing my ghosts from the, um, the enemies. It's not that I can't distinguish it, it's just, it's not the most immediate. He's got to go. He's got to go. How many waves? Okay, so we should be done getting wave spawn now, at the very least, so that helps. Oh my god. At least that's what I thought, and then I just saw more people enter out of the, uh, the sewer grate. The manhole cover. Whoa. We always want to be low on mana. That is a big thing. That is a key thing of the build. Low on mana so that we can get lots of crits out. All right. I think we're maybe on the boss. May maybe? Chain lightning. Summon a bolt of lightning towards a target enemy up to nine tiles away. Dealing 170% of your power as lightning damage. I kind of like my layout here. What do we got here? The power is increased by 12 for every equipped spell on cooldown. I could pretty routinely get 24 then. Pretty routinely could do that. Potions drop more often. Power is increased by 36. I skipped this last time. Let's just let's make up for that. Max mana. It's also max health. Not a lot, but it is some. Fine. Let's just make sure those moves are on cooldown often. Well, I, I guess I didn't need to take it. I also didn't set up properly. All right, this is not the boss wave. Whoop. Go, 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 go. So make sure it's on cooldown. Good, good, good. Is it technically on cool? It's not technically on cooldown right now. It's not. It's only on cooldown when it's been used up. Ooh, that's a bit of a of a bummer for us. Okay. Oh my God! There's so many freaking enemies, man. You were not kidding when you said there's a hell of a lot more enemies on this. Oh, this level. Holy wow. Get out. That moves up. This is probably helping me use my stone skin a lot more uh, effectively as well, which is good. Chaos. Oh. Why? I click. What? That was like I clicked out of the window, but I was in the window, so. I think a pop up happened. Whoa. Good. So yeah, I'm using the stone skin more, which is probably, it's probably good. It also means it won't be on cooldown in, in the event that I like need it desperately fast. But honestly, things are going okay. Things are going a-okay. They're making it happen, Captain. I'll take the health regen. No, no thought, just do it. Uh. Deal 15 plus 700% of your life regen as arcane damage every second. I don't have a lot of regen. I have three. I mean, does that really, dude? An extra 21, though? I barely do I barely do either of those types of damage. This could be a reroll, but Okay, no no no. Max mana again, sure. I 
All right, we're, we're going pretty glass cannony here. All right, we're on the boss. Go, 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 go. Should I just tunnel vision spawn on the boss? Probably not. Probably not. Oh. Go! I mean, actually, yes, I should. What the hell? This is... I guess we have, like, a really good setup for just ripping through any BS they have. Yeah. Actually, this is... Giga busted. This is giga busted. That was the, probably the easiest wave we've had since arguably the first one. And that one actually maybe was easier. <laughs> maybe actually easier than that. So, hey, hey ho, I'll take it. Bloop. Electric field. I'll probably save it for a reroll. Arcane damage you deal is increased. Expert spells do more damage. Do I have any expert spells? That's an expert spell. It's, it takes a long time, though. I think just getting a little bit of arcane damage up sounds great to me. A little bit more power. Movement speed. We get locked down pretty hard. After taking 35% of your max life as cumulative damage, stun all enemies nearby. Sure, why not? Crit chance. And fireball that I'm not going to use. It's just a, it's another basic move instead of this. I don't remember where they spawn. I think it's on the edges. I think it's on the edges and they work their way in. Yep. They move when the clock moves. Okay. Whoop. Go, go. Oh, the, that burn move does do a lot of damage. Like, I think going all expert spells and going for, like, cooldown reduction could be genuinely a valid way of going about it. Oh, my God. This is... The sounds going on right now are absolute nonsense. All right. Oh, it's because of the arcane AoE. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, okay, okay. And every time we spend mana, we're healing. It's just like, oh my god. We've got so much going on. We got a really powerful build. It took a little bit of effort. Because I remember feeling... And maybe I think I even... And I and saying that compared to other builds in this, it felt pretty garbage for a bit. But we hit some kind of breaking point where this just feels... Giga busted now. On top of the fact, we have weirdly good defensive capabilities as well. Definitely more mana regen. Casting a basic spells restore mana. Maybe. Every 10% missing life increases your move speed, attack speed, melee and range resistances. All damage taken from enemies close by is reduced by 18%, which is really good. Cassie basic spells restores mana. I mean... How could... Seven, ten, okay. Seven, 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 seven. Seven, 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 seven. Yeah, it would, it would make a difference. I'll take it all. Oh my god, look how fast it'll come back. Boop, 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 boop. Look at that go. Oh my god. One, two, right. One, two, right. One, two, right. Yeah, I think that's the plan. There we go. Just, just cast my spells for a bit here. See if they even... I don't care if they really hit anything. Alright, if it, if this was already random BS, it is random BS turned up to 11 now. So now we can cast it every two seconds. Every second, maybe, really. 
Oh my god! Oh, because the AoE, you know what it is? The AoE can crit. And when it crits, even though it's just like a rinky dink tiny 34 damage AoE, it then sets them on fire. That's what's happening. On top of the fact that my ghost can crit and start them on fire for a flat amount of damage. It doesn't it's not based off of the amount of damage the AoE is doing. It's based off of my power. It's absolutely nuts. I'm in like. Get that down a little bit there. I'm having trouble seeing how they can really reliably get to me. And I'm happy about that. Just that AoE mixed with crits burn, mixed with low mana means high chance to crit. We just, oh, it's a mess. Whenever you stun, fear, or root an enemy, it takes... I don't think I have any of those. Well, I have a... No, I don't have a fear. I thought maybe the ghosts feared for a second. I don't have any of that. Well, there's... Oh, ghost... That's why I was thinking. There's... Ghost form could technically work. Eh. After dashing, the next spell you cast within two seconds does 18% more damage. Sure could. I like to dash, believe it or not. Oh, I didn't mean to take that item, but... Black Hole. Create a swirling vortex at the target position. Pulls enemies within blank tiles. Deals 170% of your power as arcane damage. Is that worth replacing my fire move over? It's worth trying. Like, just for a second. I mean, honestly, the other one's probably better. Whenever you cast a lightning spell, you gain max mana. I mean, that's just not gonna... Whatever. I can't re-roll it. What's better here? Maybe the black hole is better. You know what? Whatever. Let's just do it. Alright. We'll just cast it, cast it around, silly, because again, we just kind of want... Really, I just want things that have high cooldowns. There we go. There's the black hole in the middle. Let's see how it works. It's pretty good. Those laser beam boys are a little bit frightening. I remember them. Just be on a spinning move here. Black hole in the middle. There we go. Stand kind of near it, so they're more likely to touch it. I do feel like the fire was honestly better, but hey, it's all good. I do like the thematic nature of the black hole as our kind of like ultimate move. Oh my god, get out. These guys stink. I need to prioritize them. Okay. Even maybe just running away from them is probably going to be a better idea. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Bye. Either final or next to final. I'm definitely going to take the crit damage. Mana costs are reduced. That's maybe fine. I think we could get more ghosts. Like, I know that we do more crit when we're low. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh my god. Why, why doing it that way, though? Just because it's kind of fun. We can kind of, like, drop them all on my face here. 
Okay, let's get our black hole out, though. There you go. Black hole. Woo! Those guys gotta go. Yeah, t attack speed is only relevant once you have the mana to facilitate everything else. That guy's gotta go. Spawn it on him. Bye-bye. Oh my god, the amount of ghosts. The amount of ghosts we can make. I don't even know where I am. There we are. Get out. All right. Black hole in the middle. Oh, my God. I mean, it brings him right in to just get absolutely shredded. Look at our mana regen. It's out of control. We had like 30 stacks of that thing. Oh, my God. So we can just like black hole and then spawn all of our ghosts in that spot. You know? Oh, God. Watch out for Laser Beam Boy. La Laser Beam Boy is genuinely the only real concern I have in maybe this entire game. I don't know if maybe he's slightly overtuned or if everything else is slightly undertuned. But I have a sneaking suspicion I won't feel like everything else is undertuned later in the Ascension levels. That's my educated guess. Whirling Death. It is an arcane move. But it's one that costs mana, and it's, it's not a cooldown one. I don't know. Maybe I'll take it, but I'm probably not going to use it. Power attack speed sounds good. Whenever you cast three spells, a spread of three projectiles are launched towards the target direction that do your power as damage. Oh, well, that's a pretty easy choice there. A little bit of attack speed for kicks and wiggles. And just seeing what we get for kicks and wiggles as well. I is this is the boss, right? Yeah, this is the boss face. Go, go, go. Honestly, the laser boy is more more important than even the boss. Like they're dying pretty quick. But the laser boy is more important than even the boss. Laser Boy's first boss is second. Oh, it's this is gonna be fine. Oh, the boss is making a massive mistake of standing in the same location. You cannot do that with this build, my friend. He's also immune to the black hole. That was easy. Easy. Wild stuff. Build was very good in the end. Hi there. I just want to see this crit. See, look at this is the thing. This is my AOE. Like, is it killing quickly? Honestly, I, I would actually say yes, it kind of is. Elite enemies unlocked. Ooh, interesting. Bop. Don't you dare. Elite enemies. Probably also going to unlock some new spells or something. Bling. Earth wall, defensive wall of earth throw up from the ground, slowing the movement and attack speeds of nearby enemies. Okay. And blocks enemy projectiles. Cool. Please, thank you. Fairy ring, every, tw wait, every 20 seconds while in combat, a ring of vines spawns around you. Well, this is a passive uh, that roots enemies in place and lasts for six seconds. You have 10.8 uh, life regen while in the ring. That's pretty darn cool. Uh, Reaper. New emblem unlocked. Your melee and range resistances are reduced by 25%. Your power is reduced by 25%. Or 20. Just 25. No percent. Uh, killing enemies during combat increases your melee and range resistance by up to 40%. And your power by up to 60 until the end of combat. Weird. Okay, so... Oh my god. Okay, so it basically you start off bad, it, it, but you eventually... I'm assuming by power power by up to 60 is implying minus that 25 still. I would imagine that's the case. So this is good, especially good if you often are dying at the end of the levels. <laughs> uh, spell Encyclopedia Unlocked. 
Neat. All right, well, let's just we'll hit continue. Why not? I just want to go check out what that uh, encyclopedia is, because I'm assuming, yeah, it's right here. Uh, and then there's also yet elite enemies. So we're still missing two spells. I wonder how many uh, passives would have been missing. But uh, dang, very, very neat. We'll be back at it again tomorrow. I don't know. Let me know, you guys, if you want more of this. You know what you have to do. You got to leave a like. You got to leave a comment. Those are genuinely things to do. Uh, it would help out a great deal in both spreading this channel around, spreading the series around, and also spreading the game around. So it helps to make the game more popular and thus ensure that it continues to get updates and things like that when it eventually does come out. Um, if you want, if you like this game and you're like, I like it, I think it needs, you know, a little bit more content, you know what you need to do. You need to support the game then. That's what you have to do. You have to go, you have to wishlist it, you have to buy it when it comes out, and you have to review it. If you like it and you, you like everything there and you just want more of it, those are the things that you would have to do to help ensure that something like that happens. Uh, but alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. My name is Retromation. This has been Neophyte. We'll be back at it again tomorrow if you guys are so interested. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.